Hey, what's up? I'm Lindsay Burton, and you have just entered the zone. I'm here with Larry Spellman. Well, hello, lady well, friend. Hello, Larry. Guess what? I got a question I want to ask you. What do you think the future is going to bring this year? Because hmm? we're going to talk about that little thing. So keep that in your memory decks, all right? Hmm? You ready? You ready? We're going to conclude with our uh, Extreme Days series, and we're going to just wrap it all up. I mean, you've been with us. You've been faithful, and we appreciate that. But first, we're going to go over to uh, Miss uh, Becca Pruitt Denny, and she's going to talk about our uh, video lineup. Miss Becca, what's going on? That's right, Larry. We have POD by request this week. Also, we have the Benjamin Gate and Toby Mac, one of my favorites. So stick around for those. And you're going to want to see Mike Wood's Life Center Report. You always want to catch Mike when you get a chance. And Mike is actually going to get us rolling with Kimar over there. Mike, what's up? Kimar. Thanks, Becca. Up next, we've got a band that's been dominating the charts pretty much for the last decade. I'm going to let my man Mike Woods here introduce him. It's DC Talk with uh, Consume Me. You missed it! You're on the zone! Teresa, we just saw DC Talk and their video, Consume Me. Now let's check in with Mike in this week's topic. Uh, thanks, Teresa. Uh, we've been talking about this whole Extreme Days thing, and we're going to go on with it. We've been talking about extreme fear, how we react to fear, where does fear come from, extreme information, you know, like being overloaded. Mm -hmm. If we're living in Extreme Days now, where is it going to go? 
where's it going to end up? You know, I mean, this technology is going like, wow, and just everything so extreme. So where's it going to go? Huh? Hannah, what do you think the future is going to look like? I think there's going to be a lot of violence in the future. We've seen a lot of it today and people have become really desensitized to it. And I also think that technology is going to take a turn for the worst. I think that people are going to use it for bad things that they we see now and I think they're going to continue to do that. You believed the Matrix, didn't you? <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. I did, but <laughs> still believe in Santa Claus. Um, Kay, uh, what, what do you think of some of the, she, she kind of hit on it, but what do you think some of these consequences are going to be of our actions now? You know, how is that going to impact the future? <laughs> I think that um, the country is trying to make a lot of moral choices that will influence a lot of the choices that we have to make later, like abortion and um, just questions about human life and its worth. Yeah, government is getting in on our moral decisions and playing God in some cases, if you will, just like the abortion issue. Food for thought. Talk more about that later. Right now, Lindsay's going to be telling us what's coming up. Thanks, Mike. Well, up next, we're going to hear from a new breakout band from South Africa, and they're called The Benjamin Gate with their video, All Over Me, and it's right here in the zone. <laughs> Hey, what's up? That was uh, Benjamin Gate with All Over Me. Stay tuned, because up next we've got P.O.D. 
and we've got Toby Mack. So on i'm Lindsay, and we're back here in the zone having fun but now we're going to check in with larry and he's going to give us our email of the week all righty all righty check it out this email is from nick nick said this he said your show is really cool how about playing some more skillet and pod for me and my friends thanks but check this out nick you're gonna get pod you're gonna get pod now those out here who uh who've never emailed us email us but well, make sure you put your mailing address you can check us out at info at surfthezone.com, and you will love that, and we will get that. And if we read your email like we did Nick, you're going to get a free CD. So, without further ado, Kimar, what's up with the video, my beloved? Well, thanks, Larry. Actually, up next, we've got a group that they're pretty much one of the hottest groups out right now. They've been on MTV, TRL. You've seen them everywhere. They're dominating. Uh, but most important thing, they're leading people to Christ. You know, that's really important. But up next, we got P.O.D. with Youth of a Nation here on The Zone. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. This is Kimar. That was P.O.D. with Youth of a Nation. Up next, we're going to continue this week's uh, Live Zone Report with Mike Woods and Extreme Future. So go ahead, Mike. Take it over. a minute ladies and gentlemen i think something is happening i'm afraid Dan, Dan. welcome to our fourth and final installation of extreme days that being of extreme future yeah future and what better way to look at the future than to look back at the past at how some people thought the future was going to play out so we're going to look at my favorite thing movies and see how directors thought some things were going to turn out in the future so check these out the Day the Earth Stood Still was released in 1951. It portrays Earth's first contact with an alien being. It looked at our reactions about not being alone in the universe and what an outsider really thought of our planet. Another hidden agenda was pushed in this movie that was common during this time, communism. The alien represented a communist bringing a message of gloom and doom to the capitalist pigs. Hmm. Yeah, we're those pigs, you know. I mean, yeah. H.G. Wells' classic The War of the Worlds was put into film form in 1953. However, the book was written way back in 1898, right after reading was invented. In this sci-fi classic, the Earth was attacked by Martians looking to colonize a much more suitable habitat than the one of the brutally cold surface of Mars. In this story, our weapons are totally useless and we end up in slavery. And yeah, the Martians eventually die out because of bacteria or something, but nevertheless, it sent our country into a panic when Orson Welles aired it on the radio in 1938. Legendary director, legendary for being weird, Stanley Kubrick brought us 2001, A Space Odyssey, in 1968. So I'm watching this movie, okay, and then it hits me. 2001 was last year, and none of this happened! In this movie, we stumble upon an obviously artificial structure on the moon and go up to investigate only to have the onboard computer with artificial intelligence freak out and kill everybody on board. Well, he did leave one man alive, but I'm sure he wished he was dead for the remainder of this movie. I mean, visually stunning, but quite boring. Which 
brings us to 1982, during the height of the Cold War. ABC aired a controversial movie called The Day After, referring to the days following a nuclear attack from Russia. Not only did it deal with how unprepared we were for such an event, but it actually showed nuclear attack happening. Like, we didn't have the threat of it, but it actually happened. But now, I mean, look at look at us now. Where are we with Russia? We're like best buddies now. President Bush is over in Paris having tea and crumpets with Putin. I mean, that's cool. But check it out, John Lithgow, you know that dude from Third Rock from the Sun? Yeah, he was in this. I bet he's embarrassed now. I mean, I would be. At least then, he wasn't trying to be goofy. You know what Einstein said about World War III? He said he didn't know how they were going to fight World War III, but he knew how they would fight World War IV. With sticks and stones. Jesus, can you take the time? Thinking and worrying about the future gets us caught in a cycle of dwelling on the what ifs. You know, what if this happened or what if that were to happen? Well, God tells us specifically not to worry about the future and to put our trust totally in Him because He's in control. He's God. I'm not God. You're not God. So why let extreme thoughts of the future control us? Coming up next, we've got Toby Max video, Extreme Days, right here after this short break. So keep it locked into the zone.
Outstanding. Hey, did you enjoy the show? I know we did and the audience did. I tell you what, we're going to see you next week, no doubt, in the zone. See you, baby. Woo!